Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how easy it is to use tile clones to create scallop squares and rectangles. I'm going to start the project by drawing a circle. Then I'm going to resize the circle. So I might make this 5 millimeters. Now I need to create the tiled clones. So I'll go Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. So in symmetry, I'm going to leave it P1, simple translation. In rows and columns, I can either enter how many rows and how many columns I would like, or I can enter a size. So for this project, I might make it four inches. So change it to inches. I'll type four, press enter, type four, press enter. Now I'm going to click on create. Just going to zoom in and look a little bit closer. Now I can see all these clones aren't quite touching. Now I'm trying to make a square that's got a scalloped edging, so I need these to slightly overlap. So I'll open the Shift tab and columns and rows I'm going to make a minus number. Now it's a percentage of the original, so I'm only going to make it very small. So in columns I might type minus 5 press enter, then rows I will type minus 5 and press enter. Then I'll click on create. I can see now that these are slightly overlapping. So I just close the box. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can see at the top left that one of the circles is selected. That is the original circle and all of these others are clones. At the present time they are all linked to the original. One way to unlink them is to delete the original. And if that fails, or you've clicked elsewhere and lost which one was the clone, just select all of the circles, click on the icon on the toolbar, that's an unlocked padlock, and it will unlink all your clones. Before I continue, I'm just going to duplicate this and put it aside. So I'll come back to these and reselect them all. While they're all selected, I'll go Path, Union. If you've got a lot of clones, you might have to wait a little while for this to happen. I haven't got the results I expected. Most times when you apply Path Union, it will still look like all these individual circles, but they will be connected. But for this project, it doesn't really matter. All these little white parts are going to cut. So to get rid of those, I'll go Path, break apart. You can see by all these little dashed lines that I've got lots of objects in there. If I look down here, it shows me I've got 190 objects, but I only want one. So I'll go Path Union. There I have it, a perfect scallop square. So let's just move along to this one that I duplicated before. Now if I happen to like this size of scalloping, I don't have to keep doing it for every single little project. What I can do is just come along and select some of them and duplicate them. While they're all selected, I'll go Path, Union. Now that's more of the result I expected earlier on. You can see that we've still got all these white spaces that will cut out. I'll go Path, Break Apart. I've got lots of little pieces, so I'll go Path, Union. And that's now one piece. I come along and select another selection. I'll duplicate them, move them aside. So I'll go Path, Union, they're now one object, I'll go Path, Break Apart, then Path, Union. Let's just do one more. So we select the circles we want, duplicate them, move them aside, go Path, Union, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. So if you plan on making some scalloped squares or rectangles, you might like to try using tiled clones. I do have more information on my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com and a PDF form with the instructions. Thank you.